Hello ladies and gentlemen, Just Spartan one here and welcome back to Voodoo Vince, the final episode. We are facing the Cosmo Bot in the very last section of the game. As you can remember last time, I just managed to get all the way through the game. Well, the final section. Just before the boss fight. So, I hope this goes well and we can do this first time as well and complete the game in fine fashion. It shouldn't take too long, so enjoy! Cosmo, Cosmo, Cosmo. Is that measly box the best you can do? No. I have something a lot more impressive in mind. Behold, the Cosmo Box! Right, so, it's quite easy boss match. All you gotta do really is hit these little things, you pop them up, and then you have to just fly full pelt at the ball. And that's it. And that's all you have to do three times. So we should get any other one, and just do it again. So the thing is, you don't get enough speed. Then, if you don't get enough speed, I think. It's kind of the whole point. Alright, last time. I like everything else in this game, you only have to do it three times. Ah. Darn. Still ugly. Well, that's not better. Oh well, I don't think there's any one of those particular I didn't realise that he do such small steps. How am I meant to fucking do this one? I've got no gap. Oh wow. There we go. <laughs> I like to out. Right, so which foot is it? Might I get me a little car? Quickly just drive about. I think it's this one, isn't it? There it is. section all we have to do is not that but climb up here I'm trying I'm just trying to remember what to do now we get all the way to the top and then get on this I'm pretty much just gonna wait for that to come around and just jump on so we have to get all the way to the top of um, Cosmo bot. It's quite easy. It's just patience, really. And a lot of swinging. 
So if you don't like using these, you're going to have a very horrible time playing this game. Just keep swimming. Anyway. Oh yeah, you got to watch out for that as well. Okay, go underneath. There we go. Casualty cheat. As you do. Ooh. No! What? Why did he do that? Oh, oh for fuck's sake. I don't understand why he just did that. Oh, come on. I even stopped on the platform to get a checkpoint and it didn't give me one. I have no idea what just happened. Oh, just fucking... That's all right. Why is it not going on? Why is he struggling? So... Oh my days. Oh, there we go. Alright, I'm just going to wait for this thing to come around. You can walk it. But, it might as well just get this. It's life easy. So ain't that, by the time it fucking comes around by that bit, I'm going to walk away around. There we go. All we got to do is just wait. Here it comes. See, normally when you get on these sort of things, it gives you a little, a little checkpoint. So, does this seem familiar to anybody? What am I? It just takes so long to do. I can't get that one. But you can get it when you jump down. Doesn't make any sense to me. Fuck's sake, I thought you'd go dive bomb again then. You were right, I did. No way. No! Oh, thank god. Hey. Oh! Grab onto boat then. Fuck's sake. You know what? I probably should have cut this out until I fucking get there. Don't believe that. Why did he not grab onto it? I was literally there. If it doesn't grab this time, I think controllers may get smashed. I'm not doing this shit again. Come on. Swear to God, if he does not grab... No. Yeah, thank you. Fucking work that time. I totally didn't hold my breath there. <laughs> Onto the cogs. 
gently as we go. Bye, Luke. No! Don't die, please. Oh! Get up, you bastard! Oh, you know what? Fuck this. Go back. Right. Oh my god, the camera angles on this. They're not healthy. Right. Oh, another one of these. Here we go. Just keep swinging. It's not terrifying at all. Basically, we've got to get all the way up to the very top. I think I let go too early. And we're dead again. But at least we think we've got a checkpoint. What a fucking shit checkpoint this is! Who invented the fucking checkpoints in this pissing mission? Fuck sake. Oh, we're like a ninja now then. Oh, ninja mode. That's how you do it. Damn. Right. I don't know what what happens sometimes. I think well, that time I know. I just fucked up. Just I, my finger hit A by accident. I have no idea where that fucking fist is. Is it gonna land? I don't What's it doing? What's it doing? No. Please. Grab. Thank you. Oh shit. Come on. Come on. Right. This is not agonising at all, is it? Let's do this over and over again. Right, we're nearly there now so high up. The problem is, if you actually fall down where his feet are, you have to do everything all over again. You have to like, climb up his feet and everything. It's a very unforgiving game at times. There we go. Gently done. Oh, make it. There we go. Oh, this is not fun. Please say that's a checkpoint. Now where? Oh. Oh. <sighs> hey, the final one. Now we get a plane. After this. That, you know the, uh, the little miniature plane that you get from the uh, gas level with the fucking turtle lady? We pretty much get that. But this time it's got guns. We can fight. I like how they put like characters from the game all over the place and throughout the game. Very good. Right, so here's a final section of this. And we have done. So basically every time he opens the door. Badass gun as well. Bad in it when a game that came out like 16 years ago has got a flight. So good. Did it? There we go, we've got one. Pretty standard to this game. Two, three times. Oh, we've got two. I'm probably going to crash right into it. Oh. Four times, fuck off. 
There we go. Now all you gotta do is just fly into his head. So as you can see, it's quite a fucking shitstorm, isn't it? <laughs> I pretty much did this first time as well this time. Until I fell. Saying that, I'm gonna do it again. Oh, this is the most annoying thing, is that if you get on a ledge within a ledge, like that, it becomes messageable. It's so hard to get out. Also, that rather snazzy looking light down there, just kill you instantly if you get Why does he not grab at times? He just fucking it pisses me off sometimes, but he grabs certain objects and then sometimes The Grim Reaper says hi! It's the only problem with a uh, fucking retro shit game like this. Is the fucking just don't grab all the time. At least now modern games you do. Unless you're playing testing speed and then he just does what he wants to. Come on. So there is no enemies to fight in this section. There's only parkour time segments you've got to do. But you do have to time everything. So, I I did this last time. Oh yeah! Like that apparently. <laughs> right. Uh, I'm clearly pressing X. Fuck it. Why does he not grab onto the things I tell him to grab onto? Fucking game. Oh, okay. I, I'll take full responsibility for that one. I didn't see, I didn't see these very brightly coloured green. Right, so we have to press these platforms and basically you have to get hit, I think, three times. You do two up here and then one at the actual brain itself. Swing the two. That's anticlimactic. Swing! Right, so now we're gonna get all the way to the top. I fucking hate this second. Right, come on. I'm gonna get that just. Just keep dying. Uh. Now, okay, I've got a slight problem. I don't know where the other one is. Is there even another one? Hang on. I don't know where I'm going. Come on, keep going. You can do it, little boy. Little man. Where the fuck you are, little voodoo doll thing. Fucking climb, boy. Oh my god, we're actually doing it. Pray to god this is where we have to go. <laughs> I've not just jumped off at a random point for no reason. There we go. Why does it have a brain? if it's being controlled by something. What's the point? Anywho, I think we're getting very close to the end now. beat that fucking pink glowy thing. Oh god, don't want to let it get too high then. Otherwise, it's just going to be too hard to get. Now I've not made the time to clean your eyeball but There we go. Skip the last bit. Probably get a bit higher actually. Get a bit higher. Come on. This is literally at the end of the game. As soon as we get to the very top, we just beat the grade and that's it. So you'll be like the shortest video in this video. I mean, all the other ones have been like an hour. And this is going to be like 25 minutes. If, well, if I don't fuck up, it's going to be pretty close to 25 minutes. Take two 
too bad. Oh, come on. No, it's going to be a bit more 25 minutes at the bit, will you? Unless you don't count the cutscene. This part's a bit of a pain in the ass. Let's wait, wait for all these to come back. This is the only bit I failed on last time I did it. I did it, I did it put it flawlessly all the way through to this very last bit. You do have to jump back as soon as it comes. Oh my god, I did it first time that time. Alright, and we... I've actually just beat the game. There we go. Well, you are chop yourself in half. And then, I think you literally just punch the brain, get some beads, voodoo power it, and then that's it. Game over. You've won. So, just jump down here. Saying that, though, that fucking light is getting... Bit close. Uh, come on, get rid of that. Oh, there you go. Kill yourself. Woo! There we go. And that was really Vince. Oh, I believe it took us to like 22 minutes to just complete the, the fucking boss. Hey! Yeah! I probably could have just squeezed it in the last bit. something. Oh crap! Charmaine! She's not really very happy. Boss! Nice to see you're in one piece. Yes. Next time, perhaps, you can get me out of the robot before you destroy it! She's not an happy bunny. Next time? This isn't over yet, Charmaine! That's Madame Charmaine, you ignoramus! I have one last bit of zombie dust! I still possess the power supreme! Behold! Stop that! Silly man! So you're the big wizard! How would you like to see some real magic? Real magic? Boss, I, I think she's kind of mad. She's bluffing. She has no powers. The zombie dust is all gone. It's true. I have no dust. But Vince does. May I borrow some? Sure thing, boss. an airhead. What, what happened? Why do you guys look so funny? We're balloons. Vince? Now this will be fun. What? How, how are you? Now, let's go home. Sounds good. Say, boss, I'm curious. If you're so powerful, why do we live in that rundown old hovel? Why not conjure up a mansion or a private yacht? It doesn't work like that. Didn't you learn anything from all this? I just know that somebody gets their own room while I sleep in a desk. That's just how things are, Vince. I'd also like to bring up the potentially touchy subject of my other eye. Granted, I realize this isn't as important to some people as it is to me, but when you get into the area of depth perception, and that was Voodoo Vince. So, we got fuck all collectibles, it was great. So, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this mini series of four fucking videos. It should have been three. But, yeah, it's quite fun. It's a little game. But, next game we will be playing is Outlast 2. And then, whenever um, the next Halo Wars 2 
boss finally decides to drop, we will be doing a video on that as well. So I hope you enjoyed. Please like, favourite and subscribe as it helps me out a great deal and makes me want to make more videos like this and many more games. So like I said, Outlast 2 is the next game to be coming out. Or in fact, I think by the time this game's out, we would have already started it. Who knows? Depends when I put it out. So thank you all for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. And goodbye. He looks a little funny with those pins in his head. His cause and effect isn't really correct, but he still fills the bad guys with dread. Vince the voodoo 